And I was a very homophobic person. There is no question about it. So I thought there is no big deal. I'll fix him. I'll find the best treatment center in the country. I'll find the cure for it and I'll handle it. This is my first gay wedding, by the way. And for many of you, this might be your first gay wedding to attend. Back in 1997, I was one of the luckiest father around. My son was valedictorian, spelling bee champion, UT plan two, playing the great job as a Romeo, and he actually fooled me because he actually did a good job as a Romeo and Juliet, and the, he had no lafra. I mean, everybody else has a girlfriend here and a girlfriend there and this and that. And I said, Parag is such a pure guy. Man, I'm so lucky. <laughs> right? And he was doing everything. He was uh, passionate about people. He was passionate about different people. I said, God is really smiling on me to give a wonderful child like this. He used to perform Bharat Natyam. He used to even perform at different days event as the MC, as a joker or whatever. That time there was not much of a competition. But the thing is, that was the best of the time and suddenly it turned into the worst of the time. On 27th March at 4.25 p.m. on that Friday night, Prague had a very small speech. Dad and mom, I'm gay. I have known it since I was 10 years old. I thought I was confused. But I'm beginning to realize that I am gay. I thought I will hide my being gay until you die, so you won't be embarrassed. I tried to commit suicide while I was in the high school, but I did not succeed, thank God for that. But I is very wimpy, I don't think he could do that. So, but he tried. But last week I was discussing in the class and there was another Indian girl and I blurted out, I am gay. So I knew the news will come to you sooner or later, therefore I'm telling you I'm gay. The whole thing was like three minute speech. From the best of the time, our life went to the worst of the time. And I was a very homophobic person, there is no question about it. So I thought there is no big deal, I'll fix him, I'll find the best treatment center in the country, I'll find the cure for it and I'll handle it. Monday morning, I was the first person to enter the medical library and I pulled out all the cumulus medicus, which means all the article, they're all listed in one book for last five years, for G and H and all that. And I started looking up the article. And then I suddenly realized in 30 minutes that American Psychological Association back in 1973 had declared that gay people is not a disease, it is not a defect, it is not to be cured, it is not contagious, and if you accept somebody is gay, your child is not likely to be more gay than otherwise. I asked a simple question. Do I love my son any less at 431 than I loved him at 424? And a long pause, and the answer was no, I still love him the same. <laughs> So then I wrote a letter, and when I wrote a letter, this is what I did. I said, who will be the 50 people who have played the important role in Parag's life? Some of them were very conservative, and I knew that they will freak out when they heard it. So I kind of thought, okay, maybe 50% of the people would not talk to me. And my life would really be isolated. What to do? Again, a few minutes later, the answer came very simple. I said, Vijay. If there are 50% of the people who don't want to talk to you, maybe they don't need to be in your life. Why don't you stick with the other 50% who will be with you?